It's Bonnie. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Day after New Year's, the Monday is always, I feel like the craziest day of the year. Everybody is trying to just get back into the swing of things after the holidays. And I feel like we're all kind of like, where do we start? <laughs> it's like, I want to start walking more. I want to clean. I actually started cleaning today. I'm going to show you guys today how I polished my furniture with Bath and Body Works body cream. This is a really, really neat trick. I love it. But first, we're going to go over a little bit about semi-annual sale week two. We're going into week two today. Not super impressive. However, there's a few call outs that I want to talk about. So number one, car fragrance. If you need car fragrance, oh my gosh, get these now. These are like $2. Stock up on these, put them in a box and save them for Christmas next year. Um, the refills are only $2. They even have Market Peach. The Shaggy Dog Clip is $2. That's a good time to stock up. I also noticed, remember yesterday, I was talking about Summertime Surf. Summertime Surf, Pink Watermelon, Endless Weekend, they're $4.95 now. I knew they were going down. I hope you held off. I need to still get uh, the Pink Watermelon. I need to order that. I really want that Pink Watermelon. That is a fabulous scent, and it's great for summer. So I, I that's, that's where I'm going. I'm ordering that Pink Watermelon next. And then candles. I feel like candles are like all over the place. Now they have two price points. They have $12.25, and they have $12.75. $12.25 for fall, $12.75 for like Christmas candle day, and banana bun cake is still $26. I'm like, what is going on with that? That's so weird. Oh, I got my tea today. I switched to a medium, by the way. I'm trying to cut back on caffeine a little bit. I'm trying to be good here. So I, I got to the medium. <laughs> so what have I been doing all morning? Aside from looking on the Bath & Body Works website, I've been polishing my furniture. Oh my gosh, I, I skipped a week. Everything's dusty. I like to polish my furniture like twice a week because it always gets always dust everywhere. And um, we have, we don't have carpet. We have like laminate flooring through our entire house. And I feel like when you have like laminate flooring, the dust accumulates a little bit more because I feel like the carpet used to like trap it and then you could just vacuum everything up. But, um, you know, I just feel like I don't like dust anywhere. I like to keep my home fairly dust free and for the past like 15 years, I've been using the Bath and Body Works body cream to dust my furniture. I don't like like spray products like Lemon Pledge. The scent gets to me. I have asthma and it just makes me cough. Um, I have not found any other like polish that I like other than the Bath and Body Works body cream. It's really weird. So what I do is I just put a little bit on a washcloth and I prepared a video. I'm going to show you the video right now. We're going to go through what I do and then I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. So here is one of my um, dresser chests in our bedroom and you can see there, there's my Harry Potter Lego wall hanging. I've got some fine fragrance mist. I'm trying to organize everything. And what I'm going to do now is clean this dresser. So what I do is I just take a little bit of the body cream. I put it right on the wood and I just polish it. And I don't know if you can see in the video, um, it was pretty dusty. And all I did was wipe it in and you can see, you can see a little bit here. See how there's a little bit of dust there? Now watch, I just use a regular washcloth and the dust is gone. The furniture is shiny and it smells absolutely amazing. I have been doing this now for 15 years and it's the only way I ever polish my furniture. I don't get buildup. I don't get a lot of greasiness. I just get a really nice polished look and you have to buff it a little bit. So you can use an old one, Black Cherry Merlot. Oh my gosh, Black Cherry Merlot smells so good because it's strong. Um, I've got an older Wild Madagascar Vanilla I was going to use up. But what I do is I keep a bin and anytime I want to add a new scent to my cleaning bin, 
I just throw it in there. And you can use the older ones. The Ultimate Hydration Cream does work, but why not use your older stuff up uh, for the furniture? So what I do is I just take a regular washcloth. I think I got these at, where did I get these? Um, these are from Kohl's, the big one. These aren't super expensive, but what I like about these is they have a little bit of like a fuzziness. They're not totally flat. So then you can either put the cream right on the furniture or you can even put it right on your washcloth here and then kind of um, just dab it in like this. And then, I mean, you can see that this is really dusty here. I just wipe this off and the cream starts to work into the washcloth and it leaves, like I said, a really nice, shiny, nice smelling scent. And the scent does linger on the furniture for like um, a day. You can smell it like it, the room smells fresh. I mean, if you want to freshen up your room, use a clean scent. Oh my gosh, it, the room will smell amazing and clean. You can do this before guests come over and then people walk in and they go, why does your house smell so good? <laughs> because I dusted my furniture with Bath and Body Works body cream. But I've never had a problem with this on my furniture. I mean, I don't have really expensive furniture. Um, my bedroom set is probably one of the nicest pieces I have. But, um, you know, it, it's, been, it's been being polished by, with body cream, like I said, for years. And it looks amazing. I feel like whatever's in here, and it's got to be like the shea butter or the cocoa butter, I feel like it conditions it a little bit. And, um, you know, in the winter, sometimes your furniture can look a little bit dry. It just brings it back to life. It looks absolutely amazing. I feel like it kind of buffs out a little of the scratches. So um, I've been doing this forever, and it, it's one of my favorite cleaning things to do. So everyone always asks me to do a video, so I try to refresh my video every January uh, just to talk about it a little bit. Uh, the one product I don't use is the body lotion. I feel like you don't get a really nice, like, polish. Um and it feels a little bit watery on your furniture. I, I don't recommend using the lotion. It just doesn't work as well. The cream, the body butter is a little bit too thick, I feel like. The body butter is a little bit greasier. The perfect, the perfect formula is the body cream for your furniture. So um, $3.87 right now for the body cream for some my annual sale. If you see one that you think would make a nice uh, furniture polish, that's a lot cheaper than going out and buying a bottle of furniture polish. So that is my that is my Bath & Body Works cleaning hack of the day. Let me know if you tried it. I know a lot of you have and you love it. Leave a comment below. I've got a huge Kringle candle uh, order coming today. I will be back later. Bye-bye.